Hello and welcome back to another wonderful lesson from freesciencestuff.com. With me, Mr. Davenport, I'll be your teacher today. And in this lesson, I'm going to be teaching you about distance and displacement. I'm not going to be teaching you everything that you could possibly understand about distance and displacement. All I want to do is give you a basic understanding of the difference between distance and displacement. And the reason I want to do that is because this is one of those topics that is sometimes very difficult for beginning physics or physical science students to really understand. You can memorize the difference between the two, but unless you have a, an internalized understanding of what they are, they really don't make any sense and you can't really use them to solve problems. So let's go ahead and get a really good understanding of the difference between distance and displacement and how they can both be used. And we're going to do that by looking at a road race. Remembering of course that distance is the total length of a path between two points. Here's my buddy Mo and he's going to run a race along this prescribed path, this curved path. If he gets to the finish line and he looks back at the distance he traveled, he sees that the distance he traveled was 10 kilometers. It's a 10K road race. Now let's look at it a little bit differently. You know, Mo was a little bit oppositional and he thinks, you know, I can beat everybody if I just take a shortcut. What if I do this? What if I run directly from the start to the finish line in a straight line? That straight line, you see, shows two things. It does show the total length of the path between the two points, so it does show his distance. That distance, by the way, is four kilometers. But as you'll see, it actually shows something else, not just the straight line distance, but it actually shows something else. Notice that this line has an arrowhead on it, and that arrowhead shows what? It shows direction. Displacement is the straight line distance and direction between the starting and ending points. So that line represents his displacement. Displacement can show you how far and in what direction you have been displaced from your starting point. Displacement can describe your change in position. He started at the starting point, he wound up at the finish line. Displacement, remember, requires both a straight line distance and a direction. There's the starting line. There's the path he traveled. Here he is at the finish line where he was disqualified for taking a shortcut. He traveled four kilometers, but as the arrow shows here, he didn't just travel four kilometers in a straight line. He traveled four kilometers southeast. Understanding, of course, that on your screen, north would be towards the top of the screen, south would be towards the bottom, east would be to the right and west would be towards the left on your screen. In this case, the arrow shows that he travels four kilometers in a direction of southeast. That is a displacement. His displacement was four kilometers southeast. Displacement is a vector quantity. What does that mean? Well, a vector quantity is any measurement that has both a magnitude or a measurement and a direction. If it has a measurement of any kind with a direction, then it's a vector. Displacement is a vector because it has a straight line distance and yet it also has a direction. So it is a vector quantity. Keep that in mind. Well, we can look at this a little bit differently. Let's look at a couple of situations. Let's say we start at point X and we travel in a straight line to point Y and we know that the distance is 10 kilometers. You notice that that line has an arrowhead on it and it's showing a direction and according to our compass here that direction is east and so we can actually describe the displacement 
as 10 kilometers east. What is the difference between these two measurements? The difference, obviously, is that the displacement has a direction as well as the straight line distance. Let's look at a different situation. We're going to travel 10 kilometers again. What is the direction? Well, the plus sign that you see here shows the direction. In physics and in physical sciences, plus and minus can be used to show direction. By convention, positive is going to be either to the right or up, and negative is either going to be to the left or down. And in this case, we're going to travel 10 kilometers from X to Y in a straight line, positive 10 kilometers. Then we're going to turn around once we get to Y and we're going to travel backwards, that means in a negative direction, 5 kilometers. Here's our vector. We're going to stop at point Z, which is halfway back to X. Now we might ask ourselves, what is the distance? And we know what the distance is. We just add the two distances up, 10 kilometers, 5 kilometers. We don't have to worry about the direction because we're talking about distance here. So the total distance is going to be 15 kilometers. What is the displacement? That's the big question. Well, now remember that the displacement is the straight line distance and direction between point X and point Z. And the straight line distance and direction between X and Z can be designated by using an arrow. This arrow its length shows the magnitude or the the amount of the distance and the arrowhead shows the direction. When you're all done you know that the displacement is actually positive five kilometers or you could say five kilometers east if you were using compass directions. So the displacement is now five kilometers, positive five kilometers or five kilometers east. Let's look at a different situation and by the way remember that that has a direction and a distance. It has to have those two things, distance and direction. You can't leave one out. In order to be a displacement it has to show those two things. So here's another situation. We're going to travel from X again to Y in a straight line positive 10 kilometers just like we did before and once we get to Y we're going to turn around and we're going to travel right straight back to X again and that is a distance of 10 kilometers also but you notice that they're in opposite directions we have first positive 10 kilometers and then we have negative 10 kilometers and if we look at the distance we know what the distance is we just add 10 kilometers plus 10 kilometers we don't have to worry about the direction so there it is 20 kilometers. The direction, remember, is the positive and negative sign. And positive and negative signs are mathematic symbols. And so what is our displacement? If we have positive 10 kilometers and plus negative 10 kilometers, it equals zero. And you can see that here. If we go back to X, we are no longer displaced from X. And so our displacement here is simply zero kilometers. We don't have to worry about our direction because we're right back home again. We're right back at the origin at point X. Remember, displacement describes your change in position. Displacement requires both, two things, both a measurement of straight line distance and also a direction. Displacement, remember, can tell you how far and in what direction you are displaced from your starting point. Pilots use displacements when they measure distances on the surface of the earth. They don't just have a distance, they have a direction. And they, may also, they might also include it as a velocity vector, which has a direction also. It's a speed with a direction. 
Well, don't forget, displacement tells you how far and in what direction you are displaced from your starting point. Here are some examples. 20 meters south. It has both a straight line distance and a direction. It is a displacement. 13 centimeters in a direction of 200 degrees. Those would be compass degrees, not temperature degrees. 200 paces left. You notice that that does have a, a distance, a straight line distance, 200 paces, and it also has a direction left. 44 meters up. Well, that's a displacement. It has a straight line distance, 44 meters, and it also has a direction up, about 20 kilometers. Well, it's not just 20 kilometers, it's positive 20 kilometers, and that positive sign, remember, is a direction. So this is positive 20 kilometers. It means it's either going to be to the right or it's going to be up. Well, that's the difference between distance and displacement. Hopefully you have a good understanding of it. And if you don't, leave a question and I'll be sure to answer it. So until next time, I'm Mr. Davenport. Go learn some science.